As a dad, I've learned nothing good starts with guess what your son said. So Reddit, what are some funny things you've heard kids say? My son when he was six, dad, can we get a cat? Your mom is allergic to cats, so no. When mom dies can we get a cat? Sure. My sister said something similar, she was having a conversation with my mom about getting a dog. Mommy can we get a chihuahua? Yeah, over my dead body. Later that day we went to see our grandparents who only live about a minute away from us. And my sister walks up to my grandmother and says. My mommy said we can get a puppy. Oh really? Yeah, but she has to die first. This morning, my wife told my three-year-old daughter that owls were nocturnal. My daughter responded yes, owls are not turtles. Son and I are playing catch. I have a terrible throw that sails over his head. I say, sorry, that was a bad throw. He stops, gives me a kind look and says, no daddy, that was a wonderful throw. Then takes two steps towards getting the ball. He stops again, turns back around and says, when we say something nice, even when we don't mean it at all, that's called being polite, right? I was putting my son to bed when he was about five, and after the bedtime story, right when I was tucking him in and turning out the light, he said nipples. I love him. What about you? With this totally serious expression. It took major effort to remain composed and try to make it look like I was taking his question seriously. My little sister was at the doctor's office for her annual checkup she had to be somewhere around 3. The nurse was asking all the standard coordination type questions touch your nose, put your hands up, jump, etc. Being a healthy capable little devil, she's doing everything fine. Then, the nurse says, stand on one foot. My little sister looks at the nurse, looks down, and hesitates. Then she walks over and stands on one of the nurse's feet. My cousin's daughter's response to I love you, was I love me too for the longest time. I was on the phone with my wife discussing dinner plans and my seven-year-old informed us that, quote, salad is ruining my life. I try to make it a point to take about 10 minutes at the end of each evening to help my daughter straighten up her room. After a particularly rough day, I sat down on the floor of her room to help her sort through her dolls and I had muttered I really don't have the juice for this tonight. My daughter left the room and returned a few minutes later with a cup of apple juice for me. I gave my son a time out from swords, lightsabers, guns and, Thor, hammers due to him being too violent slash aggressive. After about 10 minutes of quiet, I went to check on him and found him building with his Legos. After I told him that I was proud of him for listening, I asked him what he was building. He told me he was building an ultimate Lego weapon so that he could destroy me. I think he may have missed the point, but at least he's persistent. My nephew had a short temper, like his dad, but he really liked his play school tool set. So when he was a tad older, about 5 to 6, we got him an older kid's tool kit, with a small but real hammer, saw, belt, etc. He was delighted. After a while, we noticed him starting to gather some wooden items from around the house, so we asked what he was up to. I'm going to build a boat, he said. Aw, said all the grown-ups. So cute. I'm going to build a boat, and sail away from this place as soon as possible. My three-year-old son has been watching a lot of Looney Tunes and he likes Daffy Duck. Now instead of saying goodbye like a normal kid, he says so long suckers. We are so proud. When my daughter was younger, three years old, we would watch a lot of Futurama together because if she was going nuts she would actually quit it and watch the show, apparently her favorite character was Bender, because one day I came home to my wife yelling do you know what your daughter said today? Apparently bite my shiny metal ass while shaking your butt was not an appropriate response to being sent to her room for a timeout. My son just turned two and is barely saying complete words. On Halloween we took him trick or treating and when someone would hold out their hand with candy, he would inspect it and if he didn't care for what the candy was, he would look up and say no, thank you and then start towards the next house. It was hilarious. While driving on the interstate with my 2.5 year old in the back seat, any idiots out today, dad? Edit, forgot this, my wife was in the elevator with my son at work once, and a Sikh with a thick beard got on. My son pointed at him and said Wolfman. My father was driving with my niece in the back. At one point she said how old are you granddad? 59, he replied. Oh, so next year you'll be 60, yes, and after that, you'll be dead. Then she just kinda shrugged her shoulders and looked out of the window. My dad has told me that when I was really young, 
He told me once I don't ever want to see you do that again, and I responded with okay close your eyes. My girlfriend was in the pediatrician's office with her five-year-old son for a routine checkup. A nurse glanced at his chart and announced that he was overdue for a particular shot. When the nurse left the room, the little boy threw himself back upon the examination table and stage whispered, in a wavering voice, do you have any idea? Pause for drama, what I've been through. My five-year-old son had just finished his swimming lesson and approached my wife, who was talking to one of the other moms. Why are you talking to her? I thought you said she's a jerk. Wife mortified, with no idea why he said that. She hadn't criticized any of the other moms in any way. My fourth grade son told me he heard a joke at school and didn't get it. He is in middle so there are up to eighth graders there. He asked in front of a new buddy of mine. I asked him to tell the joke. What comes after 69? I said, 70. He said, no, mouthwash. My four-year-old niece was asleep on the sofa, I picked her up to take her up to her bed. Just as I lifted my foot up onto the first step she lifted her head from my shoulder shouted in a really deep voice, I didn't think it was possible for a four-year-old girl to make this noise, prepare to die and then started clawing slash biting at my face, then laughed manically, jumped out of my arms and ran up to bed. I still WTF about it now. My friend's young daughter said this to him. You know what, daddy? When you're married and you go on vacation to meet somebody else to marry, that's called cheating. Wife, put your books away. Son, but these books are so big, and I'm so small. Wife, yes, I know. Son, you don't know. When my younger sister was around two or three, she was sitting on my grandfather's lap and he was reciting a bunch of childhood sing-song rhymes to her, Humpty Dumpty, Itsy Bitsy Spider, etc. At one point, my grandfather says what are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and everything nice, that's what little girls are made of. Sister, no they aren't. Grandfather, they aren't? What are little girls made of, then? Sister, they're made of bones and blood. So a friend has a four years old and when he was two to three we were both trying to teach him about gender, boy versus girl. We were asking him are you a boy or a girl? And he got very quiet, thought for a full minute, then in a very confident voice I am a man. Our two year old was a little jealous of her newborn sister. One night she said wistfully, I wish I could drink milk from mommy's nickels. Maybe only funny to us but two years later it still makes us laugh. A close friend of mine has a young daughter named Maya. When Maya was about four years old she had a tendency to comment people around her out loud to her mother. My friend then told her that it was better that, if she had any comments or questions about other people, to take it up when the two were alone. A few days later they were sitting on a bus and in walks a very obese woman. Maya eyed the woman suspiciously and then pointed at her. Mom. We're going to talk about her later. Apparently, as a child I yelled hello big fat mama. To an obese woman at a Kmart. My mother was mortified. Got one, couple of weeks ago around 2 am. I'm sitting at my desk finishing up some work slash playing rift. My nine-year-old daughter stumbles past me to the bathroom, does her thing, comes out rubbing her eyes and mumbles found a fruity pebble in my belly button and goes back to bed. It might sound silly, but it was one of those little moments of clarity that makes you glad to be alive. Man, I love that kid. When my daughter was around three years old, we were visiting my sister. On Sunday we dressed her up in a cute little denim skirt for her church outfit. It was the first time she's worn this skirt. The church was a rather small one and the kids were with us for the whole service. During one of the silent prayer times, my daughter discovered her cute little jean skirts and proclaimed, very loudly, pockets. I have pockets. You could hear hushed little chuckles all around. My daughter has dropped the F-bomb before. The one time her dad was coming out of the bathroom after a shower and he said what the, she says fuck, daddy. You forgot the fuck. Another time I was in the car with my sister-in-law and daughter. She was singing Old MacDonald had a cheeseburger, one of her many made-up songs, and sang Old MacDonald had a fucking cheeseburger. I was mortified. When me and my brother were kids we used to race each other to see who would sit in the front seat of the car. One day when my brother beat me to the front seat, he started singing, I'm in the front, you dirty little cunt having no idea what it meant. I got to sit in the front seat that day. My friend is not terribly religious, but her mother is. One time, 
her mom was visiting and so on Sunday she and her two young boys went to church with grandma. Halfway through the service the three-year-old says to his mother, loud enough for grandma and everyone else nearby to hear. Who's the dead guy on the stick? And thus, the illusion of the dutiful religious daughter was broken. This is going to get buried, but I'll post it anyway. When my little brother was a wee lad, he asked for a pellet gun. My mother asked him why he wanted it, so he thought for a moment and said, to tie up some loose ends. I love that kid. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, show your support. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below.